you guys hi long time no chat the time has finally come it is my first night shift as a labor and delivery nurse and I am nervous I'm excited I'm excited for like a change of scenery new people although I love my day shift people so much it's just like fun to like have a little change of scenery change it up a little bit but y'all I am so nervous not like for any other reason than the fact that I did not sleep all day I horrible 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 okay it's gonna be a rough night for sure 110 percent it's going to be a rough night you know I hope it's not I need to be positive and say it's gonna be great but I'm really thinking it's gonna be rough I went to sleep last night at so it's like time change you know so I went to sleep last night last night at 2 but it actually changed to 3 because we lose a little bit of sleep so as soon as the clock hit 3 I was like okay I'm putting down my phone I'm losing an hour of sleep anyways I'm going to sleep took melatonin woke up at 10 20 woke up at 10 20 a.m. you guys oh my gosh um yeah got up drank some coffee did a little devotional read my bible and then I was like okay I'm gonna go for a walk you know I've been doing hot works recently I've been loving it but I was like I kind of want to stay in do a little reset of the house and I'm gonna just go for a little walk today um me and Charlie girl we went for a mile walk it was great it's so pretty outside I'm loving it um and then around 2 p.m. I was like okay I'm gonna try to nap that did not happen I did lay down I shut my eyes but I did not sleep so got back up cleaned more just relaxed and now it is 6 11 and I'm about to leave and I am starting to feel tired like around four o'clock I was like okay I could nap but I was like, but I can't because now I'm stressed. I'm not going to wake up in time and I want to get ready. And yeah, so it's just a lot. It's just a lot. I did night shift clinicals in nursing school. That was all I did was night shift. I never did any day shift. Um, well, I, I did a few. But my clinicals that I had to do in level four on med surge and on labor and delivery were all nights. And I did like two in level three on days. But anyways, I really do enjoy nights. Um, but it's just like hard getting in the swing of things again and all the things. So it's going to be a very interesting night. I recently, I started this book last night um, to keep me awake because I was tired. A girl was tired. And fun fact about me, I love sleep. So I haven't gotten much, but it's okay. It's going to be great. But I started this book last night. I am a romance girly okay I'm not a fantasy girly when it comes to books but my mentor I meet up with for work she was like just try it just try it she's like if you try this I'll read Verity and I was like okay so I bought it so I'm taking it tonight just in case you know there's time to read um but yeah so far it's great anyways now I'm gonna pack my lunch and or whatever you want to call it and then I'm gonna head out and just gonna pray it's good good night okay on the menu tonight, we got some cubed pepper jack cheese, some strawberries, two little oranges, and then this, I'm making like a little, it's ground beef with taco seasoning, rice, and then just this little um, green sauce over. And then we got a V8 Energy. I love these. They're so good. And I don't like carbonation. I don't drink soda or energy drinks, but these are really good because there's no carbonation. I love that bringing my Stanley about to fill her up and then I have a ton of snacks in my um my little lululemon bag that I bring so very exciting and I'm nervous I'm nervous but I'm so excited um this is shift one out of three they're back to back and it's gonna be great positive thoughts it's going to be great so I will attempt to take you guys through my night update you and yeah so let's get going
Hello, you guys. I'm on my phone and I'm at Starbucks before work. It is 625 and I just am feeling very tired and I really, really wanted to do, go to like Seven Brews or Dutch Bros or something for like an energy drink, but it's not on my way to work and I thought about it after. So I was like, okay, I'll just go to Starbucks. So I'm at Starbucks. I just got a strawberry I'll say with lemonade but she told me she was like with honey it's really good and I was like okay I'll try it why not and I'll try something new but I need to tell you all about my night last night I haven't talked to you guys today and I need to give you the 411 so last night was really good I never had a moment where I felt tired like I very easy last night I had a delivery at it was like 150 ish um I recovered her, went upstairs, and then this morning I just admitted a patient who was going to have a C-section, so I just kind of started her and like did a few admission things and was getting her ready, prepping all the things. Um, but that was it. I had her for literally probably 15 minutes. And yeah, it was a very steady, consistent night um, because I was like chasing, chasing my baby all night until that patient delivered but it was great and yeah like I'm I'm excited for tonight I'm feeling very tired so I got home around 7 30 and I it took me a while to, like I was so awake it took me a while to go to sleep so I probably went to sleep I would say 8 8 30 y'all I woke up at 9 ready to roll like I was like what um so I went back to sleep and I woke up at one and I've been awake. I went to Halt Works class and I'm feeling it's I'm I'm feeling it now. I'm really tired. I tried a nap, I couldn't. So here I am pushing through. I'm getting a fun little drink. Hopefully it'll like keep me motivated. And then I have a, a V8 energy drink again. And Colton's bringing me dinner. So very exciting. Very exciting things happening. But I'm excited for tonight. I hope it's a great night. I feel like it's going to be a lot more busy because it's Monday. And usually weekends are a little bit slower. Um, but anyways, that's my little update for you guys. And I'm excited. Very excited. So I'm going to try this drink. I hope it's good because I got a minty. And yeah, let's have a great night. I hope it goes by so fast. Oh my gosh. No, because y'all, strawberry assay with lemonade is my go-to. But with the honey is a game changer. It is so good. He was so nice. He was like, try it real quick. If you don't like it, I'll just make you a new one. <gasps> so kind, but it's like so good. I was kind of nervous because I'm like lemonade and honey. That's interesting, but it slays. It slays. Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Oh, oh, where is she? She's getting her bone. She's so funny. Charlie. Um, it is currently 4.15 and I woke up today at 2.30, which is such a success. Like, that is great. Um, I was so exhausted last night, you guys. So, I like came home, was like wide awake because you always get that burst of energy before you leave. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to fall asleep. Fell asleep. Here's Charlie. Um, fell asleep and woke up at 2.30. I woke up here and there, but like not for very long like I have been the past two nights. So I call it a success. And so I got up, immediately started packing because, okay, I work tonight. And then whenever I wake up Wednesday, I'm going, which is tomorrow. Sorry, my days are all messed up because like working, I'm like, what day is what? <sighs> Gonna leave to go home. I do have a possibility though of getting put on call, so fingers crossed. I don't like getting put on call, but for like this situation, I would be more than happy to be put on call so that I can sleep and wake up earlier to go home. Anyways, let me tell you about my day. So. Last night was real rough, y'all. Real rough, real like, oh my gosh, can I do this? Um, I didn't have like necessarily an episode where I was like falling asleep, couldn't keep my eyes open, couldn't stay awake because I've had those before when I was in uh, a nursing school doing clinicals. It was doable. It was fine. I was just like tired, of course. But me personally, my patient just slept through the night. Um, I maxed out her Pitocin. Because, you know, she was on Pitocin, so I was going up, like, every 15 minutes. And then, finally, I maxed out around midnight. So, then, after midnight, I literally had nothing to do. I just helped everyone else. Helped where I could. Did all the things. So, I had a really slow night. 
it was a good night um but yeah so there's that so i mean i don't know it's kind of nice to just be a little busy like at some points in the night just to kind of like push the time along but last night yeah the time went by like it's weird the time doesn't necessarily go by slow but it doesn't go by fast anyways but i made it and i just woke up started packing to go home took charlie for a walk and now like i said it's like around 4 15 and i'm just going to finish packing and yeah wait and see if i get put on call fingers crossed but that's it that's that's the tea hello hello duty calls it is what time did i i just looked 5.50, I did not get called in. Um, I'm just hoping I get to leave a little early. That would be amazing. Ooh, my hair is stuck. Wait, oh, it fell out. I'm doing a little low bun today, a little low bun action. My hair is so dirty, but my best friend is getting married on Friday. It is currently Tuesday. Anyways, I'm trying to like wait to wash my hair until her wedding, so. A lot of dry, dry shampoo has been going on. I'll fix it, it's fine. Anyways. Last shift, this is three out of three. They went by so fast, honestly. Um, but yeah, hopefully I get to leave. So right now, I'm leaving early because I don't have to be there until 6.45. But I haven't been able to see Colton, my fiance. So he was like, our schedules are so like different. And so he was like, um, wanna grab food and we can eat in the work, uh, in the parking lot of your work? And I was like, yes so i'm leaving early because his work is by my work so it's perfect gonna pick up some food and then we're gonna eat together so taco tuesday very exciting and hopefully tonight's a good night so here we go you guys i'm actually so happy 10 p.m i got put on call so took some magnesium just now i drink some magnesium shall i say took some melatonin gummies i'm going to shower i'm going to get cozy I'm gonna lay down in bed now. Here's the thing. I probably should have asked like hey, could you call me back in? Because I don't know if they like I don't know if I was put on call or just sent home, you know So fingers crossed. I don't get called back in. I don't even know if I'm on call or not, but I Just I was like bye. See you guys Have a good night so I'm very excited. Um, I literally got to work. Like, so many patients were delivered. And so I just had to get my patient up to use the restroom. And then I took her upstairs. And I just kind of sat for like an hour and a half. Then I got sent home. So I'm very happy, very excited. And anyways, just in case I'm going to keep my ringer on my phone. But that's that. I feel like this vlog might have not been that interesting. But it was fun. We had a good time. I feel like we survived at night shift. I actually enjoyed it a lot. Like, it's been great. I've been having fun. And I think it, too, is because the girls on night shift are, like, my age. So, it's just, like, relatable, fun. You just kind of chat the whole night. Um, whereas day shift, they're also sweet, and I love all of them. But it's just sometimes I can't relate. So, anyways. I think it's going to be great. I think I'm going to love nights. So, I will vlog with you guys and do another little shift in my life i guess three shifts in my life next week it's gonna be great it'll be fun and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video